Hello everybody, it's Joss from GAK.co.uk. We're here in the ESP LTD guitar room that they have every year. Um, and I kind of just wanted to show you through all the new bits and pieces that I've been shown by one of the ESP guys. And uh, yeah, just show you through what's going on in this room. So first off, very, very cool guitar. Uh, we've got a baritone scale guitar from Alex Wade from Whitechapel. Um, now I know he's had a couple of different models, but this is his newest incarnation. Uh, hip shot, Damasio's. Got a three-way selector switch with one volume. Straight up metal monster. Very, very cool. And it's got this whole sandblasted finish to it with the open pause. Um, very good looking guitar. Reverse headstock, it's a nice touch. I like that sort of stuff going on there. So, uh, one of the newer monsters uh, that have come onto the market at the moment was uh, the new Brian Head Welch guitar. So, we all know that the other Brian guitar had uh, an Evertune system on it, had the Fluence Fishmans on it, so it was, um, some could say it was a little bit sort of too expensive for people to actually achieve to get if you're you know of the younger generation of person but now we've got a more affordable version here with ESP's own designed active pickups it's a bolt-on neck no ever tune they've got an ESP designed hard bridge it's a very very cool looking guitar um, and it's just a little bit more affordable for people that want to grab his guitar and start riffing out on some corn chins above that we've got a uh, the guitar player from one of my favorite bands, this is the lead singer and guitar player from a band called Behemoth, very extreme black death metal band. And um, uh, this is his brand new model of guitar. He's had uh, an Eclipse before. As you can see, they haven't updated his photo. So that's good, good there, it's good. But uh, his brand new guitar is here, loaded with Fishman Fluence pickups. Obviously, it's got the two voicings on tap there, three-way selector switch, and it's in this really, really cool shape uh, that they've bought in. Um, they already had this shape, but um, it's just cool to see it on an LTD guitar and a signature model. And obviously Behemoth's logo on the 12th fret there, the triple upside down cross vibe. Um, very, very cool. If we move along to here, Javier Rehaus from Animals as Leaders has released a new finish on his affordable version of his uh, JR208. Um, so this is in a Pelham Blue with a little bit of flake in it. ESP branded uh, 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 pickups and an ESP uh, design bridge as well. Obviously it's an eight string uh, because Animals as Leaders do eight strings. Another little fact, his LTD expensive model is actually the most expensive LTD out of all of them. I think it comes in at about 1600 quid. It's quite expensive. So let's go through this bit here. So that's it for the signature models in terms of what's going on new. We're going to dodge all the acoustic stuff here. So, uh, the black metal range of guitars from ESP is very cool. Um, the majority of the ones that we've seen so far have always had the Black Winters in the bridge, hip shot tuners, uh, hip shot uh, hardtails, sorry. Um, but what they have introduced to the range um, is a brand new Phoenix black metal guitar here. So obviously, matte black, uh, we don't keep these in the shop the majority of the time because people like to put their hands all over them and they just look all glossy and horrible after you've metal juiced them up and it's just disgusting people um, but they've introduced a Fishman Fluence pickup in there um, I assume yep it's got the two voicings on there as well so it's a neck through body you've got uh, yes yeah, a six string reverse headstock with the embossed LTD logo really sick guitars straight up black metal vibes uh, really really cool guitars there so they've introduced the Phoenix to that so this is some of the really, really cool new stuff that I've been really excited to see. Um, so we've got the original Eclipse version here, which is like a T-style guitar. It's loaded with Seymour Duncan's, Floyd Rose, three-way selector switch. Um, you can get hardtail versions as well, and they come in these absolutely awesome colors. Uh, definitely the turquoise finish is, is one for me. I really, really like that. Now, two guitars out of the ESP LTD range that I've been really excited about ever since I saw the, the, the little post that we got, like the email out, um, has been the Mirage, this model here, um, in these two colors, in pearl pink and turquoise. Now, this is killer. So it's got some flake to it. Really, really cool guitar. Obviously, bolt on. Seymour Duncan in the bridge, and then a, obviously like a stacked style humbucker in the neck as well in a single core form. Um, that, the Mirage and the M1 are my two favorite ESP models they do, and they've reintroduced them into the LTD range, super 80s style shredders. Um, so we've got the Mirage there, and then this is the M1. So the M1 being a little bit different, it's not a bolt-on guitar, as you can see, really, really cool. 
one Seymour Duncan in the bridge, Floyd Rose mounted, so you can't go, you can dive with it because uh, it's body mounted. Um, and an M1 Custom in the LTD range. That is what I've been very, very excited about for a long time. Uh, when I saw the mail out, I was super stoked that they were doing an M1 because it's one of my favorite ESPs they do ever. Custom Shop Design one, the one, the ESP USA ones that we got in the shop, the M1 that will turn up eventually is the one that I designed. That's how much I like the M1. Uh, we've got here the SM1000s now, so this is actually incredibly cool. So um, what they do have is they've gone for the roasted maple necks on this, but I'll get this down so I can show you. They've sandblasted, me and my mate Lewis were actually talking about this, seems to be the, the theme of all guitar companies uh, recently is that everybody's sandblasting um, their guitar bodies and then putting some sort of color on it, whether it be Strandberg, whether it be PRS, whether it be Jackson, they're all sandblasting their guitars and ESP have jumped on the old bandwagon and done these new 1000 series snapper series guitars uh, so you've got Seymour Duncan's uh, Pegasus and Sentin I believe um, hi uh, hip shot hardtail bridge uh, five way selector switch but check this out so above the, the last set of frets are all scalloped as well which is really cool so past the 12th fret 13, 14, 15th, 16th so after the 16th fret they start scalloping the frets which is really really nice touch the other big thing about this guitar is that it's stainless steel frets um, so, yeah, they, those frets ain't going nowhere. Really, really cool series of guitars. I like all the Japanese shredder guys that were using these as well. Really nice. And it's light. It weighs nothing. Um, introduced the Phoenix back into the line. Um, so now the new Felix, uh, Phoenix uh, 1000 C3 Black Cherry comes with Fishman uh, pickups in them. Um, and uh, the Deluxe Vintage White version comes with a Seymour Duncan in the bridge and then a Fat Cat in the neck, so a P90. Um, so you've got kind of more hard rock and metal stuff and then you've got more of a classic sort of rock style guitar. Finishes are really cool. Just uh, really, really good looking guitars, basically. And it's nice to see them reintroduce the, uh, the Phoenix back into the range. Um, so let's keep moving around. There's a lot of guitars to see, guys. So um, it's kind of hard to just uh, let these gentlemen take their photo. No, thank you very much. Cool, some new EC1000s um, in some uh, E2 design colors, I was told. So um, you had to get a Japanese guitar to have this finish, but not anymore. You got these deluxe bell tops and these fade finishes with Seymour Duncan's three-way selector switch, ebony fretboard, locking tuners. Um, so yeah, you had to, um, you kind of had to only get the Japanese model to actually even think about getting a color like that. But now you can spend probably just a touch over a thousand pounds and get yourself an EC1000 in some really killer colors that aren't vintage black. Don't get me wrong, the vintage black is really cool. But um, if you want a little bit of a difference, um, make it look a little bit more expensive, then um, get yourself one of these brand new EC1000s in these really cool bell finishes. Another one that you could only get in, um, I believe it was the USA Custom Shop, is the Andromeda finish. So the EC1000 in the Andromeda finish with the Fishman Moderns in there as well. So you've got your multi-different switch voicings, um, but the difference being with these finishes is that whether it be um, uh, having a Japanese made guitar or having a USA made guitar, now you can get the finishes from those ranges, but not spend anywhere near 5,000 pounds or $5,000 or whatever it would equate to. So let's keep moving. Obviously the classics. Vintage black, EMGs, uh, some flame tops. We know these ones already because we've had these in the shop already and they look killer. It's just nice to see some more professional, expensive looking ESP LTD guitars that aren't just the vintage black model. Um, very cool. Uh, oh yeah, these are really cool. I saw these yesterday and I really like these. So what we do is we've got the H1001, 1001. It has a binding, but what they've done is they've done a black binding on it. So, what well that, for me, makes it look like it doesn't have a binding almost because they bursted, obviously, out to a dark burst. So because of that, for me, it just looks really sleek, really, really lovely and stealth looking. Really nice black back, Grover tuners on there, Floyd Rose trim, Seymour Duncan's again, volume tone, five-way select switch. I think the H series has really come to life by looking like that. I think that's a really, really nice looking guitar, personally. I could definitely see myself with something like that. It's really nice if you want to get your metal on. Um, obviously as well, they've done the, the H3 series of guitars. Um, so this is, yes, yeah, so this is H3. Um, Seymour Duncan's, Floyd Rose again, through neck. Um, really, really nice. And that one up there, they've done exactly the same thing as this H that we were looking at here, but they've got a hardtail, hip shot hardtail tuner, Pegasus Sentient, and they've quilted the top. 
but because they got the black binding it makes it look like it's still got like no binding because of the dark edges and it just looks really sleek really really nice looking guitar i love that sort of thing when it looks like it's an invisible binding so obviously moving on to the M series guitars now. So these are the M 1000s. Um, so they've got a um, hardtail version here. Um, once again, another nice touch with all of these LTDs is that they've got hip shot hardtail bridges on them. And hip shot stuff is incredibly good quality stuff. Um, volume tone, through a select switch. Let's see, yep, obviously the two voices on the Fishmans. Nice touch for the M 1000 HT is that it's got a reverse headstock. I really like that, obviously in the matching colors bell top it's nice and flat but it's still contoured on the edge through the side of your arm so they do that in a six string and they do that in a seven string hardtail version as well with a reverse headstock locking tuners um, this model here the LTD M1000 um, deluxe it's the only model that they do now that's got the loaded EMGs in there um, Floyd Rose volume tone really really cool bell top once again I like the use of the bell top stuff I like the use of the bell top stuff um, but sometimes it can be a bit garish for me but I like it in these darker finishes it's really nice really really cool looking guitars so one of the new additions to the multi scale guitars that they've done is added a six string model so we know the seven and the eight string model because we've had those, but they've introduced a six string model of the multi-scale there, which is really nice. Volume tone, five way select switch, Seymour Duncan's, uh, obviously a multi-scale compensated hardtail bridge there from Hipshot. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. And it's got a traditional headstock on there as well. Um, so it's not like uh, the seven or eight string guitar, it's just a traditional one. So that's the M1000 MS, obviously standing for uh, multi-scale. So before we get on to the really really pretty stuff we've got the last leg here which is the Vipers and to be fair this Viper here with the quilt top no binding is my favorite guitar on the LTD booth like absolutely. Volume, tone, Seymour Duncan's, Tunematic style hardtail bridge, three-way selector switch and the loveliest finish on this quilt and it's, it's a way to song bitch so you've got this quilt top on the top there and it just look at that absolutely amazing but obviously natural back Nice and thick body, nice thing profile neck, deluxe locking tuners on there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool looking guitar. Cool, so now we've seen all of the ESP LTD stuff. If we make our way around to the E2 selection of stuff, it's kind of a bit, it's, it's a bit difficult. This is gonna be more of a like, pan the camera over everything, um, only for the pure reason that it's the sort of stuff that we can't reach, which is all this stuff here, the ESP USA original and the ESP E2 stuff up on the wall here. Um, as you can see, look, so you see that there? So the, uh, the blue fade sort of thing, that's the exact same finish that we have on the LTD ESP LTD model that I was just telling you about. So that Japanese model there will set you back to two and a half, but you can spend under that amount of money and get the same finish now. Um, the E2 models come with the MGs, the LTD models come with Seymour Duncans. But this is kind of all the original and ESP E2 stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Japanese and American made. So apart from that sexiness, if we just let's go see this just just go see the wall of the wall of horrendousness um so all of these guitars are handmade and hand finished obviously in the usa you got some crazy crazy sparkle finishes up there some crazy bell top finishes some m1s some ec1000 some m2s some really really cool finishes there this limited edition run of galaxy finishes they've done just across the middle here um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. So this is all stuff that was available to actually be purchased at this show. Um, but as you can pre-see, they're already pre-sold. Pre-see, they're already pre-sold. Um, so I won't be getting one of those. So apart from the ESP USA stuff, they have the uh, ESP Japanese Exhibition Limited run of stuff, which is more like art pieces than things that you would actually want to play, uh, which kind of starts here. Just outrageous guitars, basically. So you got yourself a Mystique there, got yourself an Eclipse there, got yourself an FX model. Look at these honeycomb arrows and this honeycomb EC1000. EC1000? Eclipse. Just ridiculous. They're basically pieces of art instead of pieces of equipment that you'd want to play. The Japanese are ridiculous. I mean, it is a Japanese company, so. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed us taking a really swift look around that massive room because it is a massive room. There's a lot of product in there, um, but there's a lot of good stuff to see and a lot of good stuff to be excited about for you guys to play. So I hope you enjoyed that little walk around of the ESP booth and let's move on to our next place.